Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And, finally, I have gotten around and I have procrastinated long enough to where I have now made my Valor Cup tier lists between Battle and Protector units. So today we're going to be going through that. Obviously they are already placed, because if I were to try and place all 115 units, that would be quite a long video. So I will just kind of affirm some of the placements as far as like why they're here. Obviously not going to go through every single unit, but some major standouts will I will I will talk about. So the first tier right here, my godly tier, um, AOEs, strong AOE units with their own buffs are really really good in Valor Cup because obviously you don't start with protection gauge. There are a limited number of units that have traits. In fact, here let me pull that up. Um, right here. Limited number of units with Valor traits. Raphael, Light Hanada, Fire Mill, Maid Rimuru, Dark Rimuru 1, Space Rimuru, Earth Trainee. These are like the seven, you know, very old units that got the same um, Valor trait from the anniversary livestream that the VAs picked out of a hat randomly. And then you have Dark and then Fire. So the first two metas you know, that came with Valor Cup, obviously these units have traits, and they're much better than these traits. 15% alt damage down is its not really going to save you, especially since they're probably going to be running a unit that gives them alt damage up, and it's going to be more than 15%. So these units definitely have a nice spread of um, Valor Cup traits. So like Shinsha's, eh, I wouldn't really call that the greatest thing in the world, but you know, it is what it is. But... Uh, Space Leon, AoE Nuker. He was made to be an AoE Nuker, and that is why he's up here in Godly, because he does AoE Nuke. He's got an 80% personal alt buff. He does instant damage. He is a debuffer as well. So, I mean, you get him set up, and he can he can wipe that field. The same with Diablo. He gives himself alt gauge, which makes it you know easier for him to get there. He's got the attack buff. He's also an orb changer, so I think he works very well. Even if, you know, both of my units are level 80s and they're kind of jokes. Um, once you get them, you know, powered up, you give them good gear, you get some dupes in them, then they will definitely help you clear fields. And I have already used a level 80 Velzard to clear fields with her own Valor Cup showcase. She works really well. I would say maybe a little bit better than Diablo. Because uh, Diablo just has, like, the one attack buff. But Velzard has attack buff and alt buff. And she's an orb stealer. So it works out for her being very greedy. The hero, one, AoE, fantastic. Two, crit buffer, great, the entire team can benefit. Three, the rewind, right? I know people who don't use the rewind, and I have never gone a fight without using rewind. So it's just that extra turn to help give you protection gauge, to help send more damage so you can kill a few like low HP units. It's very, very helpful. Dark Rimuru has a fantastic Valor Cup trait. It is, uh, we're here. On turn 6 or turn 4, if you have two dupes, seals protection gauge, right? So it's just, you send two orbs, or you send on orbs on turn 4, you can't use Shizu, you can't use Hakuro, you can't use whoever. Great, because the entirety of Valor Cup is built around who can get their protection up first, right? Who can get Hakuro and get a full hand of oranges, with therefore giving you a whole bunch of alts and 40 points? Who can get Guy first to, you know, give you full hands of greens, give you 35% alt gauge? Who can get Benny Maru up so now your team has counters for two turns, so attacking them is like poking your own eye, right? So there's that. And he has the crit buff for the team, and then the dark damage for dark crit damage for dark units, including himself, which means he can clear fields too. Milim is here. She's our only single target up here, and that's just because of my personal preference of her being a special orb changer and an alt buffer for the team and a self-buffer for her attack. I think she works very, very well, even on not dark-focused teams. So, the godly tier is fairly self-explanatory. Um, you know, Space Milim, we got a whole bunch of single-target DPSs in the extremely useful, because, you know, single targets are good, but, you know, they don't have hundreds of thousands of HP, right? And you're not going to do hundreds of thousands of damage. So it might be a little better to bring an AoE nuker versus a single target most of the time, unless you don't have them. But Milim, Val's here for orb changing heals. You're a nuker. You are, if you're running Guy and you've got Isis, that works very, very well. More better than running Misery, because she's got the orb change as well. 
Rimuru, fantastic orb changing. Uh, Shion, Hinata, Violet, Space Milum, Gazel, Diablo, all single target DPSs. All can run very effectively by themselves, but you know would benefit from other support except Violet because she kind of does most of it herself. Um, Fire Benny Maru up here, Wind Trainee, Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Stunner. If you really want to go that route, and also an Orb Changer, a Triple Orb Changer. Right? We've got support. We've got Orb Changer, Alt Buff, Orb Changer, Passive Healer, I guess, and then another kind of green buffer. Um, pretty useful. Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Healer, Orb Changer, A AoE DPS and self crits, Orb Changer, Orb Changer, Healer, and Attack Nerfer, which could come in handy, and I have used her a few times, and it, it the 45% heal is significant, and the Attack Nerf, you can actually feel that, so, I, you know, I, I only used her a couple times, but it, it did work. Um, single target, Orb Changer, plus Frostbite, you know, if you're gonna run Leon, you can run Leon and Velzard and maybe Rain down here. Uh, for like the debuffs plus the instant damage a lot of instant damage can be done with you know the space 2.0 team Which really helps which is why Dagrel is kind of up here. I wouldn't run him over like Frey or Carrion or something But you know if you're gonna use an earth team and you don't have any other options and why not? Um, but a lot of blue orb changers because again like I said the person who can get their protection gauge first is generally who is going to win because it opens up a realm of possibilities or just big ult damage. So, um, slightly useful tier are a bunch of other orb changers or a lot of like buffers that 55 point buffs are not something you're generally going to use too much in Valor Cup. You'll use one or, you know, one and then something else that's small points. But you're generally not going to run, you know, double big time buffers to do big time mommy damage because you just don't have the points, right? You don't have time to stack up. Claimant and Adelman, they have really, really high defense, so if you're running a super tanky Earth team, it can be stupid annoying. Stupid annoying to fight that, but in reality, like, they're slightly useful. And only because of that. I wouldn't run them on, like, a guy team with Leon, like, that they just don't fit. So, they can be useful, not all the time. Um, like, alt buffer, alt buffer... Bunch of orb changers to oranges and greens. Shinsha is down here. She does have a Valor trait, but her skill costs 80 points. And if we're not using 55-point skills a lot, we're definitely not using 80-point skills. Uh, her second skill is not really something you should be shooting for. I'd rather just orb change into blue. So if she's down here. More support, support, orb changing. A lot of s double 55-point support. Not really that good. She is an AoE, which means that she can buff herself and other units on the water side. But I'd rather just run Shuna and Hinata and Rimuru as like my, my three water units. Um, Dagrel, Hinata, Maid, Rimuru. I, he, he can come in handy. I will talk about him. <laughs> I didn't do it on camera, but you can take my word for it that I did try him out once. One time. Because I knew that someone was going to ask me. And I knew Benda was going to be like, oh, what the hell, Joker? I used him once. Was he useful in that fight? Eh, not really. Because he doesn't really fit with Wind Diablo, and I'm running a blue team. If, it's like, it's, I didn't also didn't have a healer on that team, so his like HP cap raise, it, it raised it, sure, but I didn't gain anything out of it. So it didn't, the team comp wasn't fitting for him, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So did I use him in his most effective scenario? No. Did I use him? Yes. Sue me. Uh, Earth Benny at the Steel, Dark Vow's down here. Uh, one of the whales was trying to send an argument about her, you know, her alt buff, but honestly, like, she's an AoE, yes. She has a permanent 20% alt buff, yes. Um, her second skill nerfs protection gauge, which is not what you want to do. Um, so, I mean, if she has a high level, she can work. But again, I'd rather just bring an orb, blue orb changer. Um... Pretty useless units. I mean, most of these are pretty self-explanatory. They don't do much. And then the majority or all of, like, the four-star units are down here. Right. Slime Rimuru was up here. The Fire Slime, because he's a double orb changer, technically. Two singles, which can help. But he's changing oranges, so he's not overly useful. Uh, but there are some blue orb changers in, in the four-stars. Yes. It's just that their stats are just too low. And you're not making specific awakened gear for these four-star units. Right? So... It's just the assumption that you will have better options available to you. And if you don't, then I'm sorry. 
So that is the battle side. So let's go to the protector side. And the godly tier consists of Hakuro and Toa because, you know, they're still excellent protectors for any content. We have Guy, who I'm really enjoying using. Like, changing to greens is kind of going against what I'm talking about a lot of time with blues, but if you can get blues to get Guy active, and then you have, like, Isis or Misery, who can then buff the greens, like, you're going to be looking pretty good as far as ults, because he's giving you alt gauge. He's giving you three and three orbs. He's also AoE debuffing, right? So you just hurt, hit that much harder. Shizu is really only effective when you're running the light team. And that's it. But when you are running the light team, she's fantastic because, you know, Shion's benefiting from that. But you don't really have a lot of AoE DPS on the light 2.0 team. So that's the only kind of downside. So I could see arguments of bumping her down, but she still, at the end of the day, is a 3 and 3 orb changer. So you can run Misery or Isis and still benefit. Uh, extremely useful Benny Maru can be stupid annoying. I have fought a very high tier Benny Maru team with, like, 13, 14,000k defense on all their units, and they've got healers, and they're and they're counterattacking me, and I definitely lost that fucking fight, uh, just because I couldn't do damage to them. So, uh, alongside not doing damage, Dark Rimuru. Dark attack up, defense, and resetting skill costs, which also was what Benny Maru does, so, I mean, getting him active can definitely make your life a little bit harder. Um, obviously, like, these are much better. It's better to rush for the kill than turtle, in my opinion, but if you're going to turtle, you might as well turtle while gaining something else out of it. Cabby can be very useful if you're running a green focus team. It's just you got to get him active first, which since you don't start with protection gauge, it can be difficult. So I might actually drop him down. Uh, very useful. Guard, 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 guard. Again, taking less damage um, while doing something else. Counterattacking here, um, resetting costs here, buffing greens. You're buffing blues, which, I mean, if you're running a blue-focused team, which most people are, some people are, your, their blues are just going to do more damage on top of you taking less damage, which is cool. Um, you got a lot of the single-type orb changers down here, and then Dark Veldora. Uh, I've tried to use him. I've tried to use him. i just rather run Guy on the Dark team, because they're already running greens. He's making greens. Isis is there buffing greens. It makes a lot of more sense. You don't have a lot of options to stack up Veldora and use him when he's at like his prime time 70%. Resetting skill cost is cool, but these guys are guarding, giving something else other than, you know, than his magic buff. I just don't like using him. Guard and Kaijin are here because they are also guard units, which, you know, can help you take less damage. Uh, these are all orb changers, like single orb changers, and then Ifrit. Uh, I actually haven't used Ifrit at all in Valor Cup because I'm just using Toa or Hakuro. <laughs> uh, but he can, like, he can help you try and rush alt and buff your fire damage maybe a little bit. I don't think he's as bad as these ones. And then the poor... The, the Valor Cup is not the event for Milam or Veldora, or this Veldora either. Um, I've seen a lot of bots use this Veldora, which is fine, but, you know... Long-term stacking is not Valor Cup. Getting these and, you know, cycling these guys, not really what Valor Cup is about, right? So, yes, you can do more damage. It's going to take you a bit. And you got to pray that you get some good RNG. So, please, do yourself a favor and use one of these guys. And then the four stars down here that don't orb change or do anything. So, that is my Valor Cup tier list, the first one that I've put out. Um, I could hear arguments for a few of the units. Like, this one, definitely, like, I'm, like, 90% 90, 90 set on this. I could hear a bunch of arguments for a few of the support units going up, a few of, like, these useless units, or maybe some of these going down. Um, but overall, I'm fairly happy with this tier list. But let me know in the comments what you guys think, now that Valor Cup has been out for two months. Um... Where would you rank a lot of these, like, mainline units? Do you agree with my godly tier? I guess is the most important thing. Do you agree with this first tier level? I don't think this one is... I, Shizu is up for argument, but these three, I don't think you can argue with me. Um, most of these... Yeah, I'm pretty good on. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, but that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.